Welcome back. We're going to take a look at a huge topic in any object oriented programming language like Java. This topic is classes. Classes is a way for the programmer to take code that is related in purpose and put it in one place. For instance, let's say you're making a video game and part of your video game there's a player. You could take all the code related to the player and put it inside a class called player. If you had an enemy, you could take all the code related to the enemy, put it inside of a class called enemy. Now you may ask why do this? Well, it's good for organization. It's good for program maintenance. It makes it easy for you to build and add on to your program later on. And really the good answer is you're just going to sort of see what the benefit is as we start to use them. So let's just go and make our first class here. I'm going to pretend that I'm making a simulation program that's going to be something to do with cars and traffic. And so part of my program, I need to have something that represents a car. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a class called car. So I have an empty project here called class time. I'm going to right click new Java class and I'm going to call this class car. Classes usually start with a capital letter. So there's the capital C. And you'll see when I make the class, it adds a little junk here I'll take away. And there's my class car. Now right now this class car is empty. I know in my simulation there's, there's two things, three things that are really important to every car that's going to be in my simulation. One thing is, is I'd like every car to have a license plate. So I'm going to give my car class a variable. License plate, that's a string. What's going to happen here is when I do make a car in my program, every single car will get its very own variable called license plate. So if I have a hundred cars in my simulation, each one will have its very own variable called license plate. Now something else that I know I'm going to need is I have every car to keep track of its position. So I'm just going to make that an integer. It's going to be as if the car is just moving along a straight road it'll have some number that indicates where it is along the road. And another thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to give every car a speed. And so there's three variables that every car will get. Now there's a lot more I could add to this class, but I just want to leave it at that for now and show you how your class can end up being used inside a program. Okay, so keep in mind these are the three things I have for my car. I'm going to make another class now that's effectively going to be my runner program, okay, the actual program that has a void main in it. So I'm going to call this one here, I'm going to call it car runner. Now I'm just going to wipe that out. Now here's my car runner class. Its sole purpose is going to be to kick off the program with a public static void main method. So don't worry about that string array in there, okay. Just worry about the public static void main. You're familiar with that because that's the typical start to our programs. Now, what I'm going to do in static void main is I'm going to make a car object. Now, you can probably guess how we're going to do it because you've done something like this before. You name what you want to make, or I should say, you make what type of variable you want to make here. So I'm going to make a car. I'm going to call this car Betsy, and I'm going to set Betsy equal to the memory address of a new car. Now, this layout here is very similar to what you've done before. It's very similar to random r is new random. You name the memory address or the variable type. You come up with a name for your reference. And you set that reference equal to a spot memory. And the new command will actually hop over to your car class and make a new one of these in memory for you. And so I now have a car and its reference is Betsy. Now what can you do with Betsy? You can do this. I can say, hey Betsy, dot. Dot is basically the accessor here and you can see that when you hit the dot or the period, you can see immediately the variables that I've given my car class show up here, showing you what you can set. So I'm going to set the license plate. I'm going to set the license plate equal to ABC123. 
Now you can probably guess I can also set the position equal to zero and I can also set the speed equal to zero to start our program off. Now these variables are exactly like any other variable you've ever worked with. Okay, position was an integer. That means that Betsy.position can be used just like you use any other integer anywhere in your programs. So let's say I wanted to print it out. I could say let's print out Betsy.position. Okay, and this should print out zero. Now when I actually go to give this a run, let's run this file. And despite the red lines here, there's my zero. So it works pretty nicely. If you wanted to do some more work, you could system out, print line, Betsy dot license plate. Give it another run. And you'll see how that works. So sitting there in memory is one car called Betsy. Now here's the nice thing. You probably didn't make the class just to make one of them. You can make as many as you want. Let's call this one Bob is a new car. And just down below here, I can set things from Bob. Okay, and so Bob is a totally separate car in memory. And that's what this line does, right? Makes a new car and sets his license plate. And if you want to print them out, Okay, the same thing will take effect. Okay, and you'll see Bob's. You can make as many cars as you want. You could use the for loop. You could create a million cars, right, and set their values all you wanted. Okay, and this is going to work. So that's the most basic, basic part of creating a class. You guys make the class. And then once you've made a class, it can be used in a program, okay, to create instances of that class. So Betsy is an instance of the car class, and then you can use them as your program as you need. Now we're going to learn a lot more. We'll see in the next video where we take this up a notch.